we've got it stripped down to the studs and uh, we're gonna insulate it in here because this room needs needs some serious insulation so we're gonna use a combination of we've decided we're gonna use a combination of uh, spray foam and to do the air sealing and then we're gonna put bats in uh, fiberglass bats I've never used spray foam before so let's figure this out went to Lowe's bought a froth pack 200 that sounds like something Derek over at Vice Grip Garage would use to fix air conditioning on a car, but it's actually a real thing. It's, uh, it's they call it a sealant kit, which freaked me out because I got it home. I paid $330 for this. I get it home and it says sealing kit. Well, I want insulation. Uh, no big deal. What we're going to use it for is exactly what it's for. Uh, we're going to use the Froth Pack 200 to seal around each cavity. Um, I don't know how much is in in one of these packs. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal around each cavity, make sure I got enough. Then if I have enough, because there's no sheathing on this, on this house, what I wanna do is uh, I wanna spray the back of the Tyvek with, um, with the foam because I want that skin to uh, really help control the airflow. This, I mean, the Tyvek's ancient, and it's probably not even Tyvek. It's you know, who knows what it is. Um, so I want to really use the foam to control the airflow, and then uh, because we're not rich, because uh, I don't want to spend a thousand dollars to insulate a room, uh, then we're going to put fiberglass bats on it. Now it's going to be modified bats. Uh, the only thing I can get in this area is R13, uh, and I'm going to have to, depending on, well, if I do just like a one inch, I could probably put it in there, but, uh, you know, the whole thing about insulation is it's that air, the little air gaps in there. That's the insulation. You shove this stuff down, and it kind of loses some of the R value. So, uh, that's the plan. Uh, so, first things first, uh, uh, let's get to spray and foam. Never done it before, so um, I hope the mess isn't too bad. A couple of words before I get started. Now, I said this was not a how-to. It's not. It's n it's not. Okay, but um, I feel it's important I say a few things. One, I'm wearing safety glasses. I've got a Tyvek suit on, and I've got a for real respirator on okay um, don't mess around with this stuff it's nasty uh, it's about 75 outside that's the temperature you need the room the material and the minimum temperature for the uh, the spray foam okay once I get started I'm gonna open a window okay and I've got the door over here closed to the rest of the house uh, this stuff goes off pretty quick so after about an hour, there shouldn't be any smell. But I'd like to survive the next hour. So pitter patter, let's get at her. Got the spray foaming done. Uh, easier than I thought. Uh, a lot more material in the tanks than I thought too. So I kind of got carried away with the thickness. It's going to be interesting when I go to put the bats in because uh, I filled about uh, 
and maybe half the cavity with um, with a foam. Uh, we'll put it in there. I'll put the bats in there. If I have to, I'll, I'll peel some of the bat off to get it in there. I don't want them too puffy. Um, it's no big deal. You just put more screws in the drywall. But uh, all in all, okay. Now, some of you may have noticed, and for those of you who didn't, on my Tyvek suit, I forgot to pull the hood up. So yeah, my hair has uh, little puffy balls stuck to it. So they'll be gone in a couple of days. So I'm not I'm not overly concerned about that. The big thing was the respirator. Um, if you don't have the respirator, don't do it. Period. You know that's my only advice. Other than that, I mean, grip it and rip it. I mean, it's it's not that hard. Um, Let me give you a brief tour of how it came out, some, some kind of close-up shots, okay? Okay, on these edge ones here that aren't that thick, I intentionally uh, kind of put a lot in those. There was, you know, going back up, going back up, back up in there, there were some gaps, and I wanted to fill those. The goal with the foam was to stop air leaks interesting this house has no exterior sheathing on it uh, when you push before we put the foam up when you would when you would uh, when you push on the what was there there was like a Tyvek type stuff an early 80s late 70s Tyvek and on the other side of that was styrofoam that was the exterior of the house was styrofoam and then it has it's got cedar siding on it but uh, that was it. There's no exterior sheathing on it. From a uh, racking standpoint, there are these, uh, these metal bands that go at an angle. And they're the only thing that prevents racking. A lot of cleanup. A lot of cleanup. Uh, and that's my fault. They actually said um, in the instructions to carry a, a rag and keep wiping the tip down and you know, it was the first time I did it, and I was excited and nervous, and hence, you know, not pulling up the, the hood. And, uh, but all in all, I think it, I think it went, went really well. The next thing we'll do, and I'm going to give it a day, I'm not going to play with this tonight, is I'll start putting, I've got some R13 down there, and uh, I'm going to start putting that up. But that's, that's for tomorrow. It's the next day, and uh, the foam project, uh, the foam portion of the insulation project is done. Ish. Uh, lessons learned. One, pull your hood up. My hair is still, got little, little, little foam balls in it. Uh, it'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. It's hair. You shave it off, it grows back. Uh, number two, I used too much product. I'd never used this before. Uh, the parameters I set forth was air sealing, okay, not cavity filling. So, uh, based on that, one kit, I could have done both rooms. Um, I didn't know that. My fear was that, um, I would do the perimeters and then a single pass over uh, a void and um, that would have been good and then take the remaining kit and use the remaining portion of the kit and use it in the other room now I know I could have done that uh, it would have saved me three hundred and thirty dollars yeah uh, I didn't know so what I did is I kept doing layer after layer after layer uh, it's not going to go to waste. It's not like I squirted it into a trash can or something like that and threw it in the landfill. It's up here. It's insulating. Uh, the room's real quiet. I can tell you that much. Uh, so those are the, 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 two, the two takeaways. Uh, cannot stress enough respirator. Not your COVID mask. Respirator. Um, with uh, a good quality filter. 
Okay, I beat that to death, I'm done. Uh, today, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put the bat insulation in. Now, I bought R13 because you can't buy anything else. You know, I'm seeing R11 here that's already installed. Lowe's doesn't carry it. I mean, it might be a special order, but in this zip code, Lowe's doesn't carry it. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'll cut it to length, I'll put it up there, and I can't have it bulging too much. I mean, i got to get drywall up. Uh, trying to press the drywall on there, and then, I mean, yeah, just use more screws, but I want it to fit. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. It's going to take all day. Um, if this was a, if these were empty cavities and I was just throwing bats up, I mean, an hour, I'd be done. But I want to kind of do it right. I had to go buy a, um, a stapler because I don't have a stapler down here in my southern location. <sighs> if these projects keep up, I'm going to have just as many tools down here as, as I have up north, which, that's not very cost effective. It'll make for a great garage sale, uh, but, uh. Not very cost effective. So, um, let's get at it. Uh, I got to find a shirt with long sleeves and gloves because uh, I don't want to be itching all day. So, got to get at it.
all the installations now installed. We've got uh, the spray foam in, we've got the R13, modified R13, because there's a lot of places I had to send it out. Uh, it's all installed. The seams that I thought were not as airtight, even after the drywall, I taped them up. Um, is it perfect? No, this isn't what I do for a living. Is it the best that I can do? Yeah, I think I, I think I did a pretty good job. Now, there's gonna be some controversy. And the controversy is, is will be on how um, I, I stapled it in. Now, most installation, insulation, um, you take the bat, you shove it in, you push the ears in, and you run a couple staples and you walk away. Well, you know what? That's done by people that uh, are getting paid by the hour. I got tons of time. Um, I'm also not worried about the drywallers coming in behind me yelling that they can't see the studs. So what I do is they've got little wings on them. I fold them out and I staple them down. My thing is, is not only do I want insulation, but I'm big on managing that airflow, not letting that air in. So uh, on the seams that I didn't feel were airtight enough, because you know, uh, I'm an expert, right? Um, I threw tape on them. Did I use too much tape? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no doubt. Um, but you know, all in all, I don't think it's that bad of a job. So uh, cost, let me run down the cost. Um, the spray foam kit was three and a half, 330 taxes, you know, three and a half. Um, the bats, I used three rolls, they're 20 bucks each. So what we're looking at, 410? To insulate this room and I got to tell you uh, we've cleaned up the mold we've uh, re-insulated in my opinion there's not going to be any airflow through here do I have a FLIR camera no I don't have that crap so uh, but I think it I think I did an okay job let me give you a once around the room uh, show it to you and then the next step is my wife has convinced me that uh, we're going to hire a drywaller I, uh, I did our basement back home, 1,600 square foot basement. It's nice looking, but when the sun comes down through the windows just right, you can see the drywall seams. And unfortunately, I've complained about them enough, even though I did them, that uh, she's convinced me to, uh, to bring somebody in to do the drywall. That, and we're on the second story, and we need 14 sheets of drywall up here just for this room. So, uh, uh, we're gonna bring somebody in to do it. Now, I, I don't think they'll let me video them. Uh, so that may just be a before and after quick type thing. And maybe when they're not here, I'll take some, uh, some video. But let me show you how this came out and uh, wrap this guy up.